Okay, good morning po sa inyong lahat, uh, sa aking mga estudyante. Good morning to all my class. Uh, sa araw na ito, we're going to learn sets. And uh, we're going to use yung aking pre-made uh, lessons from Kotobi Reader. Okay? Uh, so start with, we have the Kotobi Reader. And uh, that will be submitted also to you. Okay? Start natin yan. Let's wait for a few minutes na mag-load. And wala. So, ang ating lesson for today is just about sets. Okay? The definition of uh, sets. Okay, so we have to introduce uh, sets. The introduction, we have the definition. A set is a well-defined group of objects called elements that share common characteristics. Okay? Uh, set is well-defined. Okay, what do you mean by well-defined? Ano ibig sabihin ng well-defined? Okay? Well-defined means clearly defined. Okay. It is clearly defined or stated. Okay, clearly stated. Okay, later on we'll have examples to uh, para mas maintindihan natin. And so and also we have the meaning of elements. What do you mean by elements? So if a set is a well-defined group of objects that are called elements, what are elements? Okay, so elements. Elements are the all the members or the objects found in a certain set. Okay? So, lahat ng miyembro na nasa loob ng set, ang tawag dyan ay elements. Okay? The symbol used for element is uh, the Greek letter epsilon. And the uh, symbol used for not an element is uh, cross epsilon. Okay? Now, let us continue. The set is usually denoted by the capital letter and its elements are enclosed by braces. So we have the example here, a set A that contains letters A, B, C, D, and E. And then we write that set as this one. So this one is what we call set A. Okay, set A, okay, composed of elements, lowercase, uh, letter A, comma B, comma C, comma D, comma E. This is how you're going to write set. Okay, so referring to set A above, we have the B as an element of A. Okay, so because yung B na sa loob nung uh, set A. B is an element of A or B belongs to set A. Okay? And the other A, letter H is the element of set A. We write as H not an element of A to denote that letter H does not belong to set A. So, if we're going to have another letter H since H is not inside okay, or does not belong to set A, therefore, it is not an element of set A. Now, we have here, yan, we have here yung uh, ating uh, examples. Okay, let us click. Yan. So, from our examples, okay, we have the direction, group the objects by dragging and putting each object in one box. Put correct label to denote each set with the same characteristics. So how many sets do we have? We, have actually, ha we actually have four sets, set of trees, set of solid figures, 
set of head covers, and set of numbers. For the set of trees, we can actually drag, put that there. Ah, nakalagay na pala eh. Ay, hindi pa. Yan. So, pagsamasamahin natin yung mga trees. Yan. Lahat na nakikita yung trees. Yan. So, we call that as set of trees. Ayos natin siya. We're just going to drag. Yan. Tapos, we have set of solid figures. So, we have the cone. Cone. Tau dyan ay uh, tetrahedron. Okay, so we have the spear. Yan. Yan. Okay. The other, we have the head covers. Head covers, ito yung mga cups. Yan. Hats. Helmets. Okay, so lagyan natin dito yung kanyang... Uh, Characteristic. And then we have the set of numbers. Number symbols. Uy, what happened? Ayan, akala ko na wala na siya. Okay, set of numbers. Unahin na natin si set of numbers. Ayan. Alright. Alright. Nice natin. So, sa inyo, pwede nyo rin gawin yan pagdating ni, pag meron na kanyang Kotobi Reader, tapos na sa cellphone nyo na yan. Okay ba? Okay. And then, ayan, na, nakita na natin na tama ang ating sagot. So, we can submit. Ayan. Or, Okay ba? Yeah. So, ayan yung tinatawag na sets. So, ano naman kaya yung uh, tinatawag na well-defined or not well-defined? Okay, for the directions, choose whether the following sets are well-defined or not well-defined. So, first number, we have the set of the best doc. Is it well-defined or not well-defined? A, B, ah, A, B. Dalawa lang palang pagpipilihan. Well-defined or not well-defined? So, set of best doctors that will be not well-defined. Okay, bakit kaya? Bakit hindi siya well-defined? Simply because uh, my idea of a great or a best doctor is different from your idea of the best doctor. Okay? And the set of people who wear expensive clothes. Set of people who wear expensive clothes. Well-defined or not well-defined? Okay, not well-defined. Okay? So, we cannot know. It doesn't, doesn't mean kung anong price ng clothes. Okay? Pagkasot na na. ba? Diba? Talangan naman sabihin mo pa doon sa tao na magkano yung damit mo habang naglalakad siya. ba? Diba? Papagalitan ka niya. Alright. <laughs> A set of five barangays having the smallest population. Set of five barangays having the smallest Population. So this one is also well defined or not well defined. Okay, this one is well defined. Okay, bakit kaya? Kasi meron naman tayong tinatawag na census, no? Para malaman kung ilan yung population for that certain barangay. So that is well defined. Okay, and the, the fourth one, the set of professional basketball players over the age of 38. This one is also well-defined. Because, why? 
Kasi meron naman silang data na sinasubmit ng kanilang ages kung sila ipapasok bilang basketball players. So this one could be well defined. And the fifth one, the set of utility personnel screening at San Antonio National High School on March 20 to 2020. This one is also well defined. Okay, and then we can submit our answers. Ano kaya ang answer natin? Tumama kaya tayo sa lahat? Tignan natin. And... Alright, correct tayo. Malakpaka. Very good, very good. Okay. Element or not an element. So we have another uh, dito? activity. Is it an element or is it not an element? Okay. Nalito kayo doon. Okay. Is a butterfly an element of A, family of insects? Is it element or not an element? What can you say? <laughs> element. <laughs> okay. If P or set P is equal to W, uh, lowercase letter W, comma A, comma B, comma E. Then, R is blank of P. Element or not an element? Then, R is an element of P or not an element of P. Therefore, it is an not an element. <laughs> it's not an element. Kasi hindi makikita yung R dyan sa loob ng set P. Okay? Therefore, it is not an element. Okay, so number three. If set B is a set of animals that belongs to kingdom mammalia, therefore, whales are blank of set B. So, if we have a kingdom from our, our biology, kingdom mammalia or mama, mammals, Kingdom of mammals in the animal kingdom. Therefore, ano yung tinatanong? Whale. Ano ba ang whale? Is it a fish or is it a mammal? Now, actually, according to Google, <laughs> according to our lesson in science, whales are the largest mammals. Therefore, it is an element. Okay? And the last one, what can you see in the figure? Is this picture an element of reptilian family or not? So, iguana, is it re reptilian or not? Therefore, it is a element. Okay, in this picture, what can you see in this picture? We have two penguins. Okay, are penguins an element of the bird family? Are they? Okay, therefore, it is also an element. Okay, so we can submit our answers and we can try to look at kung tayo ay tama lahat. Alright. Okay, so hanggang dito lang po muna tayo. I'm going to give you links more bukod sa sipnayan na mga videos about the introduction of sets bukod pa dito sa pictures. Maraming salamat po.